is I'll be the first one to call you out on your crap, but I'll also be the, your first person cheerleading you. Like I'll be your your support system and everything. Just give me one little reason to do so, and I am on board with you. I'm gonna be there for you and push you through to success. But definitely, if you're screwing around, I'm gonna call you out. Yeah. And you know, I've seen it both 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 ways. <laughs> you know, he's called me out on shit too. Yeah. So. And you're on this plan, right? You're you're in the movement. You're trying to better yourself in so many different ways that you're trying to lose weight but you're also you know trying to be a better father and yeah. do the things that maybe you didn't have growing up yeah. right um, there's so many routes that we can take in life where you can have identical twins which just by coincidence you are I do and uh, you can see be raised in the exact same environment you can see what's happening above you, parents and whatnot, and one can dive into the negativity and the drugs, alcohol, whatever, yeah. and the other one will see that and be like, I am not going that route, that is a terrible route to go, and go completely the other way. Definitely. And so it all you know, comes down to our decisions and what we want in life, and you know, are you going to build the character that you can push through those things? Yeah, definitely. I know for, for me too, growing up, you know, we were, we were struggling, living in motels, practically homeless and shit. And uh, just growing up, I felt I had no other option, you know, so I started hanging out with, you know, kids I shouldn't have been hanging out with, basically just being a juvenile delinquent, thinking like, oh, well, this is my path, this, I have no other option, you know, I'm not like these kids, I'm, I'm growing up like this, so I might as well hang out with these guys, you know, and from there it just led down a fucking dead end road, you know, in and out of juvie, getting in fights all the time. And uh, statistically, you know, I should be way worse off than I am, you know, dead in jail, a drug addict. And uh, I, I came close to all three multiple times, but uh, by, by the skin of God, you know, I'm, I realized that we all have a choice at some point and we don't have to continue that direction. And I flipped the script. Was there a turning point for you? Was there something that happened or was there a mentor or anything that sticks out? Well, you know, after getting in trouble all the time, waking up in juvie, you know, or, or getting my head cracked, it was just like, this ain't cool, yeah. you know? And then I had my first daughter and from there it was like, I, I can't go down this road, yeah. you know? And, and I was into music, I was into making music, hip hop and stuff. So it kind of came with that too like you kind of had like an image you wanted to uphold yeah and you wanted to fit the part and so like you know me when I started making music it was just about venting and what I was going through and you know it was related to that type of stuff you know street stuff selling drugs yeah. all that shit so it was like it was almost like I just embodied it even more and just went in the opposite direction way further than I should have been going you found something that accepted you that was creative yeah and you were going that route exactly. which is Kind of interesting because right now you're trying to develop yourself. You're being creative. You're making yeah. podcasts. You have your YouTube channel yeah. going. It's in a, it's in but a positive it's a, direction. But it's in a healthy decision. And it it's, feels so yeah. much better. Yeah. You know, it's more fulfilling rather than, mm -hmm. you know, that route. It's like you knew it was bad. You know, you just try to justify it any way you could. Like, like well, this is who I am. Um, like I said, like I'm not like damn. I'm broke. You know, how how am I going to su succeed? How am I ever going to get out of this? It's like. You know, I just accepted the fact that I wasn't, and I used that as my excuse, you know, when we all have a choice, and I, I pretended like I didn't. I have so few friends that I still interact with from high school, because that was kind of the group that I was associating with also, and again, at a certain point, you're just like, this isn't cool, you have, you know, kids, you get married, you do the whole thing, and you can still hang out with those people and, and be in that same hole. I look back and I see a lot of people that are just in that same struggle that they were back then um, and haven't grown since high school. Exactly. And that makes me run away from that so fast.